Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. How are you all doing today? Oh, what is the energy today? Whew. Spirit came in really loud and really quick and said, freedom. For many of you, today marks a turning point in your sense of freedom. There's something you're setting yourself free from today. Wow, that's a powerful way to start the day. I had no idea that was coming. They're also saying the way in which freedom looks may surprise you. It might be something from the past that maybe it's a narrative you carried that you didn't realize you carried suddenly just goes poof and you're like, wow, I don't have the weight of that anymore. It could be freedom from a situation, a person, something that's kind of weighing you down. Again, freedom. Wow, I have shivers from that. That was just so unexpected. So let's see what the cards have to share. I'm using the Wisdom of Oracle today by Colette Baron reed And let's see what the message is here. Ooh, two jumpers, that came out. Okay, I'm gonna keep those. Today seems like a day of surprises. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. This is really telling the story. Okay. I love this. Uh, the two jumpers that came out were the tribe card as well as unfinished symphony. Now, unfinished symphony has to do with things in our lives that, um, haven't been able to be finished up, but now are finishing up. And I'll explain why I'm saying that part specifically in a moment. This is like, you know, sometimes this symphony, it needs to finish. Even if it's a beautiful symphony and the music is so beautiful and you want to live in it forever, in actuality, it needs its completion so you can have a complete moment. So sometimes we desire these completions. Sometimes we don't want the completions, but the, the trick is here, is there something in your life that has completed and you're gonna see the fruits of that now. And you're gonna see the fruits of that somehow through your tribe. So what this means, this can be your spirit team, this can be your family friends in, in this current lifetime, but somehow your tribe is going to bring through this information. So you may be very guided by spirit to go somewhere at a specific time, specific place, which facilitates that freedom point or you may find that a conversation comes up with people in your sphere here, your tribe, that either offer this release or this forgiveness or closure or something, but in a very tangible way. And it's coming in a way that it offers you support. This finishing of the symphony is going to be supported by your tribe in the human world and in the spirit world. And like I said, for many of you, it may show itself through your human world, your human tribe. But for some of you that are very intuitive, you may get the understanding from spirit. So clarity, but in the sense of freedom to finish or recognize the symphony is over. Time to start a new one. That's the umbrella energy. Now, what I really like is that these two cards came out. Now, when we're talking about freedom and we see this time to go card, this represents letting something go. Freedom. Look at this girl. She is running down this pathway to that doorway in the back. She's running and her dress is just these wisps in the wind. And this is like this freedom run. It's time for you to have this freedom. It's time to have full energy and full momentum into this next phase, into that doorway over there. So I love that this really echoes that. And what I feel that this freedom is offering, or essentially what is at this doorway here that we see, this doorway is home. This no, no place like home card, like we saw earlier in the week. This really represents coming back to self. You are being set free from something that has been holding you back from self. And so now you're being given the opportunity to really return to that beautiful heart space within return to that soul resonance return to what you know is your alignment whether you can define it or not that doesn't matter it's a home frequency so there's something really significant coming in about that you are being set free 
to return more to yourself, to connect more into yourself so that from there you can create it and you are deeply supported by your tribe in all of this unfolding today in the many ways that it can. Now, what do you need to do to bring this in? What I love is this time for a nap card. Uh, this really means um, what you need to do is rest. What you need to do is surrender. You need to release the reins, the desire to control the, how this happens and let the universe surprise you. Let the universe hold you safe in this energy as you're awaiting this piece to come forward. You could take a nap kind of thing and, and they'll ring your doorbell metaphorically when it is here, okay? There's one more piece of the message here that I feel I feel them wanting to bring in. So let me just see what that is. Okay, so they're saying don't entertain distractions from your centered peace. If something in this energy right now today is trying to pull you out from either resting, surrendering, or your home frequency, like I'm talking about like if there's a fear trigger that comes in, if there is a drama situation where someone's trying to, you know, pester you into responding in a way of responding with drama or something like that, don't fall into that. If you need to shut your phone off for a little while so you can retreat inward and just be in that energy of calm and home energy, do so. Allow yourself your most sacred time to allow these things to fall into place because these things are happening outside of you to bring it all together for you. So this is really magical today. And I'm, I'm very interested in the fact that we're seeing this leading up to the final eclipse of this eclipse season, which is on Saturday. So again, the universe is acting in our favor. The universe is bringing in more things. Today is a big emphasis of freedom. I do feel that's also going to play into tomorrow as well, but we'll see what that is when we tune in then. So... I will leave that with all of you for today. Happy Freedom Day in whichever way that shows itself. Please feel free to share uh, in the comments what that is for you. And um, I hope today is magical for you in some way, in big ways, in tiny little ways, or maybe you just feel your sense of home, that sense of self even more today. And if that's the case, that's amazing. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning in and checking in your beautiful energy, your kind comments. They touch my heart so much. I just, I can't thank you enough. So I will see you all tomorrow as we round out the weekend. See you then.